guys welcome back to the channel today i'll be showing you how to make this lovely skirt it's actually a dress but i'm going to be making mine as a skirt so i have this crepe fabric black material and i have my tape my chalk my scissors and my bias so as you can see i have different colors of this bias and i'll be making use of that for this style you can see on the screen so this is what i'm trying to recreate i've seen this on vicky james i've seen this on ac yes and i just thought why not why not try it out so as you can see i have about seven to eight different colors of bias which i'll be using for this tutorial so if you're interested in learning how to make this kindly keep watching and let's get right into the video The first thing you want to start with is cutting your pencil skirt. So I'm going to go ahead and fold it. I'm using my hip measurements as the widest part of the skirt. So you divide it by four and then you fold. I'll be folding both the back and front together so I can cut it out faster. So I folded my hip measurement divided by four plus two inches allowance. And then I left the other space by the end for easy part allowance so the hip is going to be starting from this part this pencil skirt to the right is going to be quite rushed so if you don't know how to cut your pencil skirt you have to learn how to do that so for this client her hip measurement is 50 inches so i marked 12 inches as the hip measurement 12.5 rather and i added two extra inches for the sides um side seam so yes, you can see I added extra 2 inches for the zipper allowance on the other side where you can see the tape has stopped. So what I'm doing is just confirming my measurements before I go ahead and cut it out. The next thing you want to do is to measure your length, that's the skirt length. This person has a length of 34 inches, so I'll be adding 2 inches allowance on the lower part. This is because I'll be taking out about half inch in 4 places. I will not be folding the lower part, I'm going to cut the lining exactly so I don't need that extra. But if you want to fold in your fabric like the way you, you do normally, you can add more than two inches but for me i'll be making use of two inches extra allowance after marking the length of my skirt the next thing i did was to insert my two inches allowance by the side for the zipper unfortunately you can't see that part of the fabric because my camera was not in frame but i used the truck to mark it out so the next thing i'll be doing is to insert my waist and my hip measurements then go ahead and draw a straight line downwards to give me my pencil sketch shape. So you want to go ahead and insert your body measurements. Remember that I will be adding a band to the skirt, so we've taken out 2 inches from the full length of the skirt. Mark your waistline and add 2 inches for sewing allowance. I mark this, I did the same to measure the hip line from the waist to the hip line 8 inches. And then you connect the lines together after adding your hip measurements so i made this exactly the same length of the fabric on fold so i don't waste my fabric on the lower part i measured the full length and then went ahead to mark two inches inward and then from the hip point to the lower part i drew a straight line to connect the lines together I came down on the hip line by another 2 inches so it's not too pointed and then I connected the line to that point and then just used my hand to straighten out the curve. Go ahead and cut it out. Remember we added 2 inches for the balance on the other side so make sure you include that in your measurements. that we are done cutting the skirt the next thing is to mark out where we are going to cut 
where there's going to be space on the skirt. That's where the bias is going to sit. So for this um, client, we'll be making use of 18 inches for the first half part of the skirt. You want to measure the 18 inches on the fabric and then mark the points. Remember we took out 2 inches, so make sure you're adding all that to your measurement. If you want it to be longer, you can go down to 22, 21 inches. Whichever part you want the skirt to start from is where you're going to mark. For this client, we'll be making use of 18 inches. Also remember they are going to be folding half inch on both sides, so include that to your measurements. After marking 18 inches on both sides, I'm going to use my ruler to draw a straight line. So from this point we marked downwards, I'm going to be measuring 5 inches. You can measure 2 inches, you can measure 3 inches, you can measure up to 8 inches. It all depends on how wide you want that space between the upper part of the skirt and the lower part of the skirt to be. So go ahead, measure 5 inches from the line we have drawn all the way, measure 5 inches straight down and then draw a straight line. After doing this, the next thing you want to do is to cut it out. So by cutting it out, this gives us the space already. This is what we have after cutting and this is what we are going to be working with. This is the space we are going to be working with. We are done with the body of the skirt. Let's go over and cut the band. So for the band, I took out the remaining fabric and I folded into two. I added two inches to the waist measurement for the zipper allowance or we can call it the hook allowance. So after doing that, I marked 5 inches downwards because I'll be making use of 2 inches of band and half inch for sewing in. So go ahead and cut it out and our band is ready. Next up, we're going to iron it and fix in our interfacing. So that's all for the skirt part. Let's go over to the main work of this tutorial. So I've ironed my waistband and I put interfacing in the middle of the band and ironed it so the interfacing is on both sides. Then I went ahead to iron the edges of the band. I also went ahead to cut out my lining pieces for the skirt. I made use of exactly the same length for all the parts of the skirt. As you can see I measured some parts with arrows facing upwards or facing downwards. This is just to remind me that some parts of the skirt are meant to be up because it can be quite confusing. So try as much as possible to label your fabric so you don't get confused while joining. And then you can pin your fabric together to hold them in one place to avoid anyone from getting missing. Alright, so let's get into the bias. So with me, I have different colors of my bias tape. You can make use of whichever colors you desire. I think you can also make use of plain fabrics, plain colors, and color fabric. Whatever kind of fabric you desire will actually come out nicely. So for the bias cutting, I'll be making use of 6 inches. If you remember from the cutting of the skirt pattern, we used 5 inches for the space between each part of the skirt. That's the upper part and the lower part. So for that part where the bias will sit, we'll be making use of 6 inches of bias because we'll be using 1 inch for sewing allowance. So I'm going to place my 6 inches on the bias and cut at least. So for one part of the twist, we'll be making use of 2 pieces of bias. So I'll be cutting as much as 20 inches of this fabric. So if I cut two pieces, it means this is just for one twist. So I'll make sure I cut them in pairs. All my bias tapes are cut in pairs. I'll be cutting two pairs of each bias to give me 20. So I'll be making use of 10 different types of bias tapes all together. So for this, I only cut out 
eight different colors of bias but i went ahead to add white and um, i added one more color to the mix because at the end of the day it wasn't enough so if you are working for a smaller size i think this would do or you can use lesser amounts of bias tape because it all depends on the wideness of the knee part of the individual you are working on so for this client the person is a plus size so of course we are going to use as much bias as possible so what you want to do while stitching your bias is you are going to kind of create a loop or you can fold your bias into two and stitch on one side you are going to do this like you are sewing a rope for your corset but instead we'll be doing this part by part you can also cut you can also sew straight on your bias before cutting it into this size or you can fold it in and create a spaghetti strap and then fold it out and um, just use it for the twist so yeah i'll go and do that to my machine and i'll show you what i have so after sewing each of them with my machine and kind of pressing it down with my iron this is what it should look like it should look as slim as this if you can make it slimmer then that's fine if you want it wider you can increase the width of which you are sewing it but this is what we have and this is what we'll be working with i have each of the colors in pairs and this is how we're going to be twisting it so you pick two exact same colors and you fold it like this this is how it's supposed to look on the skirt so i'm going to do that for all the bias tapes that i've finished sewing i'm going to pick them color by color you can also mix your colors that's another design but for this i'll be using same colors to twist on same colors at this point we'll have to come to the end of this video and i'll see you in my next video in the next video i'm going to be showing you how to stitch them together and how to sew the skirt completely so please subscribe to the channel if you haven't and yes make sure you watch the next video mm -hmm.